Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the reef. Today, I wanted to show you our mandarin feeder in the process of being made. So I just drilled a small hole that I could feed airline tubing through. Uh, this is just a short piece. It's gonna be long enough that it'll reach up and out of the water, but this is just a placeholder for now. I'll be gluing some rocks inside of here to hold it down so it doesn't float away, right? <clears throat> Next, all we have to do is just cut this a hole in the lid for some netting to allow the baby brine shrimp out. To do that, we'll be using a Dremel. So let's just get our, the right parts installed. I'm use the cutting disc. And I'm gonna pretend that I have the, the little wrench. I did have the little wrench. Did it fall out? Let me go get that and we'll be right back. Alright. So I didn't get that, but I got a pair of pliers that I use for working in the, the tank. There's basically the same thing, you know, if you think about it. shouldn't use these anymore because they're rusted. <clears throat> okay, next we gotta cut it. So we're gonna go slow. We're gonna go faster. Now I'm just going to replace the, the sander head on there, and we're just going to use that to smooth off the edges here.
so that's that. Now I just have to get a piece of um, netting or stocking or something um, to hold. But in between here, like set it across this, then you screw it down, and then the net will be here. It'll allow the baby brine shrimp to kind of float up, swim up and out towards the light right into the hungry jaws of Maui. So, that's that. <clears throat> so we'll make another video once I get that thing finished and I get it into Maui. I also have to get some, uh, some baby brine shrimp hatched here. So that'll be a couple days before they hatch and whatnot. All right, so leave a comment below if you have any questions and we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.